right, so we just uh, picked up the brother's truck here. I'm bringing the R6 to the shop tomorrow. I can't fix it. Um, I've done what I can to it. I, I put the diaphragm in. I oh, Sorry, the window's down here. I hope the video sounds okay. I put the, that new diaphragm in. I, I've, oh, I've changed the plugs. I haven't changed the wires, but I've changed the plugs. Um, I don't know what else it needs. It, it has spark, it's getting air. Um, I don't know, I don't know what, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not, let alone a small engine mechanic. Um, I don't know what it needs, but so anyway, I got the brother's truck here. Um, thanks to him, shout out to him. Uh, bringing the bike to the shop tomorrow, right after work. I'm hoping they can get it fixed within the week. It goes, I'm bringing it in tomorrow, but it actually, the appointment's for Thursday. Today's Sunday, bringing it in Monday. The appointment's not till Thursday, but maybe he'll be able to get it earlier than that. So fingers crossed for that. I'm bringing it to, by the way, the shout out to Dad Cycle. And uh, Dad Cycle in, I think it's Martinsville. It could be warm and I think it might, it might be warm. And, but anyway, Dad Cycle. Dad Cycle and Sled Shop is what they're called. Um, pretty good rates there. They're really good people. They, uh, they get you in pretty quick. They, they're very busy though, but they get you in fairly quick. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of see you then. Hopefully uh, we'll see it tomorrow or see it in a few minutes here. I'm gonna be loading up the bike. And we're back here. <laughs> we got, got the bike out here, got the truck ready. Um, waiting for the, waiting for Des here to come out. Um, we got the, she has sandals on, so I didn't want her to fall into the into the track here, but yeah, so we're just waiting for her to get out here so we can load this bike up. Oh, she's back. She's back. She's back. <laughs> Let me just hit record. All right, this shouldn't take long. truck around because there's like this is slanted down so it would change the degree a little bit it might help it would take me just a few seconds i'll do that i'll try and see if it helps Welcome back guys, holy moly, it's the next day. It is a hot day, it's like 32 degrees out here today. Um, I just got off work, uh, I got the bike still loaded up here. Heading to Dad's Cycle right now to drop the bike off. 
I'll give them a bit of a description here of what's going on that my brother's truck is empty on fuel right now so I gotta fill it up before I put at least some fuel in it before we head out um, to the shop but uh, yeah we're heading out there right now okay so we're back now we're in the girlfriend's vehicle we just we just came from a an important and it, oh my god came from an appointment a point I can't talk <laughs> I got a call. I'm off. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I'm. I got off work a few hours, a couple hours ago now. Uh, that uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, Dad cycle called me back and he said that the bike's done. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, the only thing I don't know right now is if it if it's actually done, if it's actually working. Um, I mean, they told me it was done, so I'm only assuming that it is finished. But um, I'm obviously gonna ask them like what they did because I've got this funny feeling that uh, what I needed to fix didn't get fixed I don't know but I'm uh, I'm hoping it's a mechanic shop he's a good guy I'm hoping that it is done and it's good because I want to take it on the BC trip here which reminds me for it'll be a week from not even a week from today it'll be like four days or five days from today so hopefully I, I will be getting video footage of that but we're actually trailering the bikes out to BC and then riding in BC so it won't be a full video of uh, like a big long trip but the um, yeah this girl is very anxious to get by me she's speeding but yeah anyway so we're headed to dad cycle right now to I'm gonna first test the bike out and then we're going and I'm gonna if I like it if I think it's good and whatever then I'll pay for it and leave hopefully it doesn't break the bank I don't know how much it's gonna be but I'm assuming it's going to be in the $500 mark because I think he worked on it for, I think it was like four or five hours, I'm not sure. But anyway, I will let you guys know how how the bike is. That way I can give an honest honest review and rating on Dad Cycle and Sled Shop. I'll tag them somehow if I can in the video. But I guess we'll see you when I get the bike. All right, so the bike is back from dad's cycle. I am not happy with what happened at all. I brought it in there because my engine, I, as far as I know, my engine is not running properly. Um, it does run, it has compression on three cylinders. It's losing compression on one because of a broken diaphragm anyway. But I brought it in there and I told him to fix it. And literally all he did was adjust my uh because they were loose because of me i took my my cables off my uh throttle cables my choke cable and my air box and all my air stuff was off i brought it in there and i said fix my fix my engine like make my engine running properly again so when i brought it in there i was expecting this thing to be um fixed you know like I could choke out all four carbs and it would die on all four carbs or sorry each individual carb i got it back and it's not fixed i i, I spent money on something that like i lit like he literally did what i have done three times now i took the carbs off i i took and on top of that yet um nothing was tightened down the air box wasn't tightened down the carbs weren't tightened down the fuel tank wasn't tightened down everything was loose like when i went to loosen off the carbs and the air box everything was loose like i didn't even have like i could loosen off my fingers if i could get my fingers in there i touched it with the screwdriver and everything was loose so i'm really disappointed in that i'm not going back to dad cycle again i was referred there but i'm not going back there um uh, terrible service he see like they seem like good people but terrible service uh cheaper in price but anyway um so yeah, I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm hoping I replace the diaphragm. So I'm hoping that that piston or that cylinder, sorry, is getting full, com full compression now. I am actually going to try a seafoam treatment on that one cylinder to try. And because obviously I'm not, I'm getting about 90, 70 or 90 pounds of pressure in that cylinder. So I'm going to try and put some seafoam down in the spark plug hole. Let it sit there for a bit. Um, I don't want the bike to actually crank over. I just want it, I just want the piston to move. All right, airbox is off. Again, I apologize for how I'm recording with uh, my selfie mode here. Um, I'm gonna do as best I can, but uh, so this is the this is the cylinder I'm talking about. Uh, the spark plug's right there. I'm just gonna disconnect it. 
and then I'll pour the sea. I'm gonna unplug the uh, spark plug, and then I'm gonna pour the sea foam down in there, let it sit for a bit. I'm pretty sure I can access it the way it is. I don't have to take the carbs off, so that's perfect. So I have my funnel down stuck into the uh, into the the port, whatever you want to call it, the spark plug hole. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of sea foam down in there. I have my sea foam here. I'm just going to put just a little bit in there. That's it. I The only thing I didn't do for you guys was actually show you the compression test, like, like live, like an actual compression test done. That's the only thing I didn't do. Um, but I am going to, I posted the picture there. We'll wait about 10 minutes from now and we'll come back. It's been a lot longer than 15 minutes. I'm going to unplug all the coils and I've got some tissue here. I'm going to place over the, the spark plug hole so that it doesn't spit everywhere. I'm going to turn it over just a little bit, not a whole lot. Remember, if you do do this, make sure your coils are, are unplugged. No power to your coils so that it doesn't start. You don't want um, and, and also I, hopefully this is a common sense thing, but just gonna put it out there. Make sure you don't put your spark plug inside. Um, cause like after you put the sea foam in there, don't put your spark plug back in. Do not do that. You will hydro lock your engine. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> so I'm using my rear camera. I'm surprised it's working right now. Um, but I'm gonna try my best. All the coils are unplugged. I'm just turning the engine on. That's just my fuel pump priming. I've got my paper towel here. I'm just gonna put this over top of that so it doesn't make a big mess. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start it here just a little bit. This should be a little wet and I'm not seeing it. So that, I don't know if that's good or not. I'm just gonna put the camera down there just to see if there's water in there or any fluid. Uh, it's hard. Um, maybe, it, maybe it reached the pistons, that's good. Okay, well, uh, we'll put a little bit more down there. So it's pretty late now. Um, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's closer to 9.30. Um, but I come out here to uh, do another just pump uh pour some more sea foam down in the cylinder and i ran into a situation that i'm not happy with at all so uh when i poured more sea foam down i could actually hear i could hear the sea foam drop onto the ground which isn't good because i think either i have a cracked block which is hard to believe the frame part of it actually looks cracked there's a hairline fracture but I think I have a cracked head. I think I have a cracked head gas. So right on the bottom here, you can obviously see it's wet. That's the crack I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure it's leaking from right there. Cause when I pour it in, it actually trickles down off of this. You can actually see there's still a little bit of water wanting to trickle off of that little bolt right there. So, I think it's coming out of the head um, right there, right where the head gasket would be, um, and just trickling down. I tried tightening that, and all of a sudden I noticed that it's cracked right there, which is fun. So I have a feeling I have a cracked, ha cracked head gasket, is, which is why I don't have good compression in that cylinder. Fun. But I don't know this... 100% yet, I've got to get a professional's opinion. So on that note, um, right now I'm at a standstill as to either, uh, I already know that with this engine, I think I'm gonna be getting a new engine and transmission because my second gear is, uh, the set, the fork, sorry, the shifting fork, I'm pretty sure is bent as to what I was told by a professional. Um, that was by the guy that the that, that dad cycle dude. He told me that the shifting fork is probably bent. It's common. So I think over the winter, I'm going to be saving up. Um, I think a new engine and transmission uh, is like $1,200 uh, American. $1,500 more for me, something like that. I don't know what I'm doing right now. 
I'm kind of upset right now because I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if this is if this is what's wrong, but I think I have a cracked head gasket. Um, yeah, I guess that's gonna be more of like a, a part three. I'll follow up on that. This is not finished, this is far from finished. Uh, I'm just really upset that Dad Cycle literally told me um, it's good, engine runs good, when clearly it doesn't, there's something wrong. It's like, I like, professional guy and literally seems like he has no idea what he's talking about which i'm so unhappy with like he started up he's revving it he, sounds good to me when i asked him to look at these to to diagnose it to literally put it through a test to to check things over i am not a mechanic and i caught on to this like i i, I was like oh, i, I want to see if i can free these rings up and all of a sudden i'm hearing the sea foam trickle out of the engine like that's not good whenever i know what's going on with this bike it will probably be a while but yeah i appreciate everybody for watching um i apologize for all the rambling uh if you did make it through everything and you kind of found some stuff out good on me i guess but if you uh if you ended up watching it to the end don't forget to hit a like if this uh hit the like button sorry if this helped you at all if you enjoyed the video um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm sorry. I'm not hyped right now. I, I'm just bummed out. This isn't good news at all. So I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get some notifications, especially with this build. Not build, sorry, with this more like a repair. But on that note, have a good night, everybody. I appreciate you all watching. Catch you on the next one.